I'm Dr. Greg Ellis, and today I want to talk about the process of losing weight and maintaining that weight loss. Now, most dietary books, diet books, popular diet books, all do the same thing. They write about a diet that you're going to follow, whether it be low fat, low carb, calorie restricted, whatever. They give you a diet book. They might include a little bit about exercise, but most often not. And then, of course, there is the exercise genre, but most people don't put too much emphasis on the importance of exercise in losing weight because you have to put a lot of time in there. Most people don't want to do that. Now, these diet books will put out the food eating plan and then give you about 100 pages of recipes, and that's the extent of it. The question is, do they teach you anything at all about the process of losing weight? What kind of changes can you expect in your body as you lose weight, and what kind of adjustments are you going to have to make in this process of losing weight? Now, I'll give you an example. I just looked at a paper today in which the researchers compared different studies that they found of people eating a low-fat diet and another group eating with restricted calories. Now, the numbers are very fascinating. In the, after six months of the low-fat diet, that group lost 11 pounds, and the control group lost 14. That's the calorie-restricted group. They lost 14. It's not bad. But these were obese people whose body weights were excessive, so that's not a lot to lose when, you, when you're weighing close to 300 pounds. So, not really impressed with that after six months of work. Now, most people can't stick to diets. They just can't do it. They don't do anything to change their lifestyle, which is what has to be done in this process of losing weight. You must change your lifestyle permanently. You can't drift back. I know I did this many, many times. I would starve myself or cut back on my food intake, and when I was done losing the 25 pounds, I would go back and start eating the same way I ate before. And of course, was always surprised to see that I regained the weight in no time flat. And it took me a long time to learn that I can never eat like that again could never eat like that again. Now, at 12 months, they'd actually started regaining weight, and their total loss by that time, had, the low-fat group had dropped from 11 pounds that they lost now, now they're just down 5. And the controlled calorie-restricted guys were at 14 at 6, and now they were down to 7. So they were actually regaining weight in the 6-month period when they were still supposed to be on a diet eating low fat or doing calorie restriction. So obviously they did not because they regained weight. And by 18 months, it was negligible. The low fat group was actually down and back up. They actually gained 0.2 pounds over where they were at the beginning of the diet. And the control group was still down about 5 pounds but they're all on their way back up. And this is what you see in all these studies that have been done, and this is what happens in the real world to free living people. They go on a diet, they want to keep trying to lose, they don't, and they don't understand anything about the process involved in continuing to lose weight. Now that's the unique character of my book, Ultimate Diet Secrets. I teach you all the steps you need to know, all of them, to continue losing weight to reach your goals because your body changes fairly dramatically with every pound you lose and you have to make adjustments and people don't know how to do that. You will hit roadblocks and you have to know how to get around, how to navigate around those roadblocks. That's critical, absolutely critical. It's true of any type of diet, whether it's low fat or carbohydrate restricted. You know, in the uh, low carbohydrate diet and the Atkins version of it, people invariably hit a wall, they stop losing weight, some will have lost none, some will have actually gained, some will lose 10, a few will lose 20, and a few 
great success stories might lose 70 or 80. Those are the stories that are trotted out all the time to show how great that diet is. But most people hit a wall, they quit losing, they quit the diet, they regain all the weight they lost, and more. So these are all the things you have to know in this process of weight loss. Sure, we can talk about your diet, we can talk about your exercise program, but they're relatively of minor importance. You've got to do those, they're part of it, but you've got to adjust those things and make changes in them as you lose weight or you will fail. That's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. That's why weight loss is so difficult. Because none of you are ever getting taught anything about this ongoing process and what you have to do to make changes in your health. So that's the important point I want you to take away today, that this whole thing with weight loss is a process, and you have to know all the steps that are involved in this process. It's not just a function of going on a diet, a function of adding some exercise to your life. You have to know how to make changes in this process of losing weight. It took me a long time to learn all this stuff. You know, I didn't really feel comfortable that I knew it that well until I turned 55 years of age. By that time, I had done all these dietary experiments, exercise experiments, you name it, I did it. So by redoing this stuff over and over and over again, I finally figured it all out. And I still screw up sometimes for periods of time. If other things get in my way and I don't keep my exercise up to where it needs to be, I'll gain weight. You know, the fortunate thing is I know how to get it off. So I just have to straighten up my act and follow the process, follow what it is I wrote about in the book. So that's, that's the message. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.